Hi, this is Wanda and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone has everyone has had a really good holiday. It's been a while since I've been on. It seems like everything that could go wrong went wrong. My iPad broke. Um, the camera, it was just a whole mess with a lot of things and some other issues and stuff um, that I'm, you know, have had to deal with. So I said, I promised myself, I was like, I'm not taking stuff from 2019 into the new year, 2020. Okay. It tried to follow me and then it didn't help with these, you know, full moons and all this other stuff. It was just like stuff went crazy but anyway i'm so glad to be here with you all and i appreciate all of you your likes um even your comments and your subscribe it's a new channel so i'm growing and i just wanted to say that you know um i take this really serious seriously what i feel um, intuitively what my guides in the universe show me um, and what I sense um, I take very very seriously and um, you know I'm not here to be anybody else I'm whom what source calls me and guides guides and is guiding me to do because I am here to be to guide even though we have to say it's for entertainment purposes and that this is timeless it can be any any time it could have happened already you know we have to say all these things um, but I'm here for you that's my job so that we can come become one and um, bring things together so I appreciate that I'm going to start off, I've already pre-shuffled and I took some cards out. Um, I turned them upside down so I haven't really looked at them. And I'm just going to go by my, do my air signs first. And if you notice on this card, in the front, it says conscious. So, uh, let's see what we have to be conscious of, my air signs, okay? Okay, so from the energy deck, you have number 13, conscious of your finances. Okay, um, some of you, I sense, are having some financial um, constraints. Now, I'm sensing that some of the constraints is coming from um, um, someone... Uh, not paying child support there's some child support issues actually um somebody owes um a lot of money there's quite a few of you you're waiting on some finances from uh child child support settlement some of you um you're looking for a raise you want a new raise and because the job that you have is just not enough it's not meeting um your needs so it is the new year it is a time to put in for um, new positions okay and there's usually a time when um, some companies do give uh, raises. Some do it before the holidays and some will do it after the holidays. But anyway, get on a budget as best that you can, right? And try to watch your spending when it comes to your finances. You see the vault right there? And it's like the vault at one point was full. You can see where um, the money is getting pretty, pretty low. Okay, and again, like I said, it's been the holidays as well, but Spirit wants you to watch your finances, okay? Um, you know, there's an old saying in the South, and a lot of people say to make sure that you have something put away for a rainy day, okay? So watch your spending, all right? Um, and then we have the Two of Wands, okay? And so now when I look at this card right here, you see how he's thinking. He's... He's thinking about things, right? Maybe his life, but I just, because this is about your finances, he's thinking about how he's going to um, make that money, how he's going to budget, how he's going to fix some things financially, okay? This is a person that's thinking, 
All right. Not looking too happy about um, his finances, but he knows, he should knows I've got to do some rearranging to uh, some research. Thank you, spirit, to figure out how I'm going to uh, my, um, monitor my finances and build them and or build them. Okay. It, it's not an easy thing to do sometimes when there's limited funds and you know, you have um, attainable bills. All right. So I'm sensing that, you know, that spirit wants you to take some time to figure out the finances because the universe knows what's ahead. I don't feel like this is something that's going to always be an issue. I think I see foresee jobs. I foresee money coming. Okay. But for now, spirit wants you to watch your spending, watch your finances. Cause for some of you, your money's quite low. Okay. Nothing wrong with window shopping. As much as I like to shop, I kind of like, you know, know when I have to relax. So also pull the money card. Okay. And this is from the cards of law of attraction. All right. Um, and this card says in the front, I am becoming more aware of my feelings about money. So again, I just pulled the card, put it upside down. Spirit wants you to be conscious of your money. Be aware of your money. And let's see what the back of the card says. Many people protest when we explain the power of telling the story of their finances as they want it to be rather than it is because they believe that they should be factual about what's happening. But if you continue to look at lapful, what it is and speak of what is, you will not find the improvement that you desire. If you want to affect your substantial change in your life experience, you must think thoughts that feel different as you think them. So there's a saying that we have, so as a man think it, so is he, right? So you got to take a look at it and say, you know what? My finances are going to get better. Okay. Begin to start to write some intentions. It's a full moon, right? Take some paper, write an intention and plan it. All right. Begin to speak, to think as if you have that money, right? That your finances will change and become, you know, obtainable. That new job that may, that, to make more money or um, that raise, okay? Whatever you have to do. Some of you may have to start, thank you, new business, businesses, Okay. So as a man, think it, set your intentions, think that, you know what, I'm coming out of this is just temporary. Okay. And my money is going to get better. All right. That's the money card from the money of Lord, law of attraction. Okay. So then I pulled a love oracle because I wanted to talk about a little bit of everything. And um, for my air signs, you got balance. And so here we are when we talk about finances, right? Bringing our money back to balance, right? Because as you see in this little vault, you know, one time it was full, it was loaded up, and now it's really low. We got a couple of contains in there, not much. Okay, it says balance. Now, love is not always about agreeing, just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Now, this is the love oracle card, right? But some of you may be having um, problems because the, your better half or your other half, boyfriend, girlfriend, or significant other, they're not picking up their weight. You did, it's not an equal give and take. In other words, I'm sensing that someone has, you know, someone they had, they work, you work. I'm just going to put it out there. You work, but they sit at home. And when you get home, they're at home playing the game. I'm just going to put it like that. I see it. And it's not good when you get home. It's not good when you get home because you, then, you know, you got to fuss, you know, because they're on a game. They are not trying to bring this relationship back to, to balance. It becomes an imbalance when one person has to work and pull the weight around the house and the other party doesn't. You worrying about the bills, the rent, the lights, all of that other stuff. You know what's in the account. The account's getting low, right? So you need that other half to help bring your excuse when a relationship is off. This will make a relationship become unbalanced because you have that one person that's just not pulling, 
their, their weight around the house to help with the bills. Okay? So then you got, you've got problems. So you want to bring that back to balance because if you know sometimes it's just temporary, right? And you really do have a good relationship other than, right? But it's just that sometimes you don't, you now you're not agreeing, right? Because the other person maybe is not feeling as enthusiastic about going to get a job or supporting their weight around the house. All right. So, um, your relationship needs a balance. Okay. Sometimes you want to agree, but you both su support each other through the challenges. Okay. So having financial issues in a relationship is normal, but when you, you will have some financial cha challenges, not all of us are wealthy at all. When you have two people together, you got to bring it to balance because you, you, you know, I need you to help me with this now. Okay. Oh, I, I can see that person getting down when they come in that door. I see it. See a homeboy is on the game. All right. So let's, um, and then we got this from, I wanted to pull, I can't find my little cards. I have the CD and on the, it says destiny. Okay. This little Oracle CD um, card destiny. So your destiny is your money is going to be all right. Your, who, whoever this is for, your money is going to be fine. It's just a little bit off right now. And you, your destiny destiny is to have some really good finances. I sense that very heavily. So you, if you're going through a financial situation, you're coming out of it. For some of you, you're coming out of the just do what you're supposed to do as far as budgeting, using the law of attraction, Okay, and if you have a partner that's, you know, doesn't have a job, let me cool clarify on that. This, then you you need to, you know, sit down and have a conversation or get rid of the game or whatever you're gonna do. Don't fight. Okay, you know how it is sometimes for them to. Um, okay. So this card popped out and it says girl with the snake. Okay, so empath or narcissist paradigm being charmed or used enable or boundaries. Okay, so how I see this is, is that you're going to, if you know, you have a partner that is not pulling their weight. Okay, um, you're going to have to set some boundaries because remember that if someone's, um, at home all the time. It better be a really good reason why you can't go out and look for a job. I'm just saying. It better be a good reason why you... I don't see a good reason sitting on the, on the game. And see, and I also see this as, you know, um, someone just, you know, taking advantage. You know, you're, you're out working, right? And they're just like, okay, they're, they, they're, they're becoming very com comfortable not going out and pulling their half of the weight. And so this is where this problem is, is growing. For some of you, there is someone that is just like this. They are very comfortable not having a job. And so that's something that you're going to have to deal with. Maybe they do have narcissistic behaviors, okay? Maybe they figure that they can charm you and use you. But you can't be an enabler like the card says, okay? I'm just saying, sometimes... You know, we can be the enabler because we let stuff slide from the beginning. And sometimes we have to nip it right in the bud as soon as we see it. Does it mean that we're, you know, like mean or anything, but, you know, you got to deal with it because sometimes people just get comfortable. That's it. It happens in relationships. Okay. You know what you have and who, you, and who you're with, you know, and these things. You know, they happen in relationships. I see it all the time. Okay, for my ear signs, all right, ear signs, just a bit of advice. Be conscious of your finances. Okay, and you have a good day. And I will talk to you soon.